What's going on guys? Tanner back from GT's Outdoors channel. Today we got another one of these holiday knife set videos. Um, there's a couple out on the channel already. Um, I'm really enjoying doing these videos. Um, comment down below if you guys are uh, finding every, anything different that uh, might be cool at your local Wally Worlds or wherever you're buying holiday knife sets. Um, and if you guys are liking these videos. So today we got a little six piece combo set. Um, it's similar to that camo one that is uh, up on the channel. Uh, stainless blade, wood handle, and they come with sheaths. Um, is everything it comes with. So you got three eight inch fixed blades, trailing point, clip point, and a drop point. So there we go. Um, go ahead and open this guy up a little bit. So. I do like how these aren't taped shut. It is kind of nice. So, here's our sheaths. They look to be all identical. So that's kind of cool. Interchangeable, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we even need a knife to get these out. Last ones, I could kind of twist them. Nope, we, uh, we're going to need a knife. So, Cold Steel Bushman Bowie. I absolutely love this knife. If you guys don't have a Cold Steel Bushman, whether it be the Bowie or not, go, go get one. These things are for, I think, $25, and they're really, really sweet. Really nice knife. I mean, you can use it for a ton of different stuff as far as uh, outdoors-related stuff, camp chef stuff, um, whatever. I mean, batoning, all, all kinds of stuff. These things are really, really cool. So, sorry about all the noise here. All right, here's our first one here. This would be, I assume, our clip point. There's that guy there. Pretty comfortable. A um, little bit different than those camo ones you guys saw as far as the uh, finger choils and whatnot, but pretty comfortable. Um, I'm really liking these um, as far as beater knives for work because everything I own at work gets covered in grease, oil, grime. You guys might be able to see my hands are just about stained black and they just don't come clean from working on semis, so that kind of sucks. Um, but... There's that. I really like this guy. It's pretty comfortable. Everything seems uh, good. I mean, fit and finish wise for $5 a piece. These were a, another one of these $15 sets. So for $5 a piece, I mean, you can't ask for much more than, you know, what, what you're getting here for a $5 knife. So as an absolute beater that you don't care about, these are probably pretty awesome. Grab a piece of paper here. See how sharp they are out of the box. Oh, like butter. Nice and sharp. Awesome. All right. Get our first little sheath going here. And. Come on. All right. We got it in there. So I found out with those camo ones, these, uh, clips actually detach and then you're just left with a uh you know, like a buttonhole kind of deal like on amora so that's kind of kind of interesting um but they fit nice and tight you know nice and secure so number one there's our drop point i'm liking that Let me get some of this trash out of the way here all right this is i guess what they're calling the trailing point all right I like that. That might be not not too bad for a little squirrel skinner, something like that, or you know, it's got a big belly for it for skinning, so that might not be bad for a cheaper cheaper knife there, or a five dollar skinning knife. You know, same same handles, same shape, everything um, as this one. Uh, the drop point's got a slightly different you know deal to it. It doesn't have the um, as big of a finger choil, just more streamlined. So let's see here. How's she cut? Oop. Fold it there, might be a little better. Oh, like butter. Awesome. So that one's nice and sharp too. I mean, handles aren't loose or anything like that. Um, I'm going to take like a Torx, probably, I don't know, T15, T20. So Ozark Trail on the blade and China on the other side. So pretty nice though for, for the money. Let's see here. Actually, 
they are different sheets. I lied, guys. I just noticed this. So if you look at the little blade indention there, that would be our drop point or our drop point, clip point, trailing. That's why that one fit a little funky in there. So let's go ahead and Yeah, that's a that's a lot better of a better of a fit there. Awesome. So that one fits a lot better in there. And so they are slightly different. So keep that in mind if you guys do buy these, that they are just a hair different because this one just pops right in. That's awesome. I mean, the retention is great on these little plastic sheaths. So that. All right. Our final one here, the drop point. Get that out of there. I actually like this one. I think the best out of them. It's the most comfortable I've had. It's, it's a comfy little guy. So... I like that. That's pretty nice. Good look at it there. The wood seems pretty pretty nice for what it is for a five dollar knife. Get a piece of paper here and see. Uh, I mean, you can't get much better than that on a five dollar knife. That's awesome, guys. I'm pretty uh pretty happy about that. So for uh fifteen dollars, these Ozark trails are uh. Pretty, pretty sweet. I mean, you got move these little blade guard things. These things irritate me. Put those off to the side. So, I mean, for fifteen dollars, for what you're getting, that's, I mean, that's pretty sweet. Those camo ones are pretty awesome. The Camillus ones were pretty disappointing. Um, not sharp out of the box. The saw uh, doesn't always lock securely. You just got to kind of make sure it locks. I mean, really kind of cheap. The sheath was really hokey. So I'm pretty impressed with these. I, uh, for $5, these will be beater work knives that I do not have to care about. And if I break one using it as a pry bar, don't do that. But I, I mean, everybody does, let's be honest. You know, I don't have to care. So awesome. I would definitely check this set and the camo set out. They seem pretty, uh, pretty good. I actually like these ones a little bit better than the camo. So, all right, guys, um, let me know if, uh, there's holiday sets, like I said before, that you guys are finding that you might like a little bit better, um, or, you know, something cool that I haven't done yet. That would be, uh, really awesome. Um, I'm Tanner signing out GT's outdoors. I will see you guys in the next one.